the loser probably out of the conference title race since no SEC team has ever won the crown with two losses. Top 25 meeting Mississippi State at home. That's the quarterback. Sleepy Robinson rolls out, throws to former Pitt star Orlando Truitt. Well, his foot's on the line, right? Well, it looks that way, but they call it a touchdown. The Florida players weren't happy. State led 7-0, but a turnaround fair play. A little redemption a little bit later. It was 7-3 Mississippi State. Robinson throwing end zone again. Fred Ward is there, and clearly he gets a foot in bounds. Touchdown 14-3, but the official says incomplete, out of bounds. It all evened out. Bad moment for State. Up 10-3, Robinson, their talented quarterback, scrambling on the move, and then he gets hit in the left knee and goes down on the field. They came out to look at him. As you look at it again, he took the shoulder and the helmet right on the left knee. Looks like anterior cruciate ligament problems might be done for the season. Eric Rett came into this game with an injury, came out with some bruises. He got hit hard by the Mississippi State defense. Kevin Henry here, Rett ineffective throughout. And Shane Matthews started the season as a Heisman candidate. He too ineffective, ill-advised pass, picked off by the defensive back Frankie Luster. Then looking over the middle and Daniel Boyd with the interception. It got worse. Luster again, his second one of the night. A lot of these passes because the offensive pressure or the defensive pressure was just there because of bad offensive line prey. Kevin Henry took this one back to the five. Steve Spurrier watched Greg Plump take it in for the touchdown. And Jackie Sherrill turning around the Bulldogs in Starkville. Big win. They destroy Florida 30 to 6. Florida now 1 and 2 in conference. It's the first time in six years the Dogs have beat the Gators. Chris Gardner had three field goals. Florida turned it over seven times. Eric Red had 20 carries and just 38 yards. The Gator offense, they call it fun and gun. It's a pop gun outside of Gainesville.